kicking my back in. When I appeared to be down, anybody that had something negative to say, he spoke to him. He added fuel to anything that was negative, Joe. 2010 to 2014, 15. Not a mention of an album, music, none of that, but who cares? Because Joe's meteoric rise, it didn't look possible. But then it happened. And then there was still these passive aggressive attacks to devalue me while I'm trying to gain capital for me and 50 other people. I had a real problem with that. And so did Kwame Brown. (laughs) Question for you. That apology ticked me off. All my people from South Carolina. Yeah, I wonder. Charlamagne from South Carolina. Now there's magically a South Carolina brotherhood. Kwame Brown, people from South Carolina. Moss Corner, Sumter, Columbia, 803. Y'all know the vibes? That apology ticked me off. Everything he was saying to Kwame Brown applies. So are you doing it because this is what's in your heart? Or are you doing it because... You got some evil shit in you somewhere. You got some some passive aggression, some rage, some hate, some... I don't know what niggas is into on their own time. What's your question for me, Ish? You just gave a timeline of... <clears throat> his... Of niggas sitting on white people platforms, kicking my back and adding the things that they knew wasn't true. All right. So, so here... And the second that somebody else says, I'm going to add to something that he says may or may not be true. Lawyers come out, cease and desist come out. He's doing interviews. Oh, Joe said he might interview such and such. That was enough for me. That was it. That let me know Joe is evil. Joe is nigga. Shut up. I, I, so this he just asked too many me. niggas talking about Joe that don't know Joe. This just adds to my question. If you said from 2010 roughly till now, mm-hmm. he's been doing X, Y, and Z to harm you. Why do you chop it up with this nigga? Man? The gig is the gig. That's why I differ. The gig is the gig. That's why I The differ. gig is the gig. See, Ish, and this is where I, I differ. I just said this to uh, Mandy on the phone this morning. She said, how you doing? How's your, how's your mental health? How's you? I said, Mandy, when everybody chooses their goal in life or their path, you have to take what comes on that path. You do. I agree with that. I chose this. You're right. I picked this. You're right. They're going to throw their stones. They're going to throw bricks. They're going to want to see me fall on my fucking face. They're going to want to see me rise, fall, get loved, be hated. They're going to want all of that shit. And I'm prepared to get it because I chose this path. I'm with all the smoke. No pun intended. I agree with you. But what I'm saying is if I know purposely somebody is making a conscious effort to do me harm, whether it's physical, emotional, social, spiritual, whatever the case, financial harm. I'm not talking to you. We dog. just spoke about this. I'm not pause kicking ago. it with you. I'm not doing my pull up with you on there. Fuck you. I disagree not, with you. I, I know. Let we, me counter your two, point. We two human beings. Let me counter your point. I'm though. not doing that. But let me put it back to you. Because then it makes you look phony. If you knew a nigga was shooting for you since 2010 and you sitting there interviewing a nigga in your living room, fuck him. I'm not doing that. I'm All not right. doing that. I'll take the gig and I'll take the stranger shooting at me. I'm off I'm on not, a tangent. But my brain works weird this way. So just follow me. I was watching an interview. Vlad, fuck you, Vlad, was interviewing some real live street nigga. Mm -hmm. And the real live street nigga was a part of the Supreme Team and all of this other shit that I won't get into. And that led me down a Supreme Team rabbit hole of Preem and Bimmy and just Mm -hmm. anybody in that story which kept me in Queens. And I know some of the people that I was reading about, right? And I started reading about murders, about some Queens street legend niggas that just got killed. And some of those stories were, or did some killing, allegedly, reading. This is all in newspapers. I'm not, I'm not, this is all out, right? Don't think I'm that guy. But in some of them stories, what I kept reading was, Nigga went to meet up with the plug. Yada, 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 yada happened. Bodies. 
And I said, damn, that's interesting. I never put myself in that psyche. I never put myself in the mind of the dude of power ghost, the guy that's going to meet the plug, but I really plan on taking this work. That's the gig. Mm -hmm. I agree. There's things that come with every gig you pick. And this gig, me and Charlemagne don't, I've never been his house. He's been to your house. For the gig. Fuck that. Yeah, no, nah, nah, For the nah, gig. Not in my house. You better than me. It's work. You better than it's me. It's for the gig. So, so the analogy. It is for the gig. But the analogy you use. Yo, yo let me, game. all right, let me say this. I'll die for the gig. Let me say that. Because when I'm saying the gig, some people, I'm saying whatever it is that you give in your life to. The street niggas I'm talking about, they die for that gig. And that's my, I was going to address that, right? In that game, you have no choice, right? Like, the plug is the plug. You go to pick up, it's part of the game. So you pick, but with you, you picking and choosing who you can associate with, who you could who you could tie into, your ties are your choices. Now let me, t all right. You wow, this saying? is, we getting somewhere good. My cho I, I wouldn't choose to Ish. deal with somebody that I know is you, purposely trying to do something. You are thought provoking for me. I guess that's good. I guess that's good. It says something and it gets my thoughts to going. Let me reference my famous snowfall scene that I love so much that applies to niggas every day in this content game. Franklin said to Leon, you want you want to start a war? You want me to be mad? Because of how another nigga Because of how another nigga talk? Mm -hmm. Genius, but... Every day niggas get mad and shit like that. What I'm saying is this, Ish. I have no reason to ever be mad at a Charlemagne, even with him doing all of that shit that he did. You ain't got to be mad, I though. It's just saying, we like... We don't have to I be disagree. besties. Right. I disagree. I'm not... Disagree. I, I think, Let me tell I'm you kind something. I'm with Ish a little bit yeah, on this. Yeah, I know, but I'm trying, to, I'm trying to tell y'all something, and then y'all can respond to it. Listen okay. to this. Charlemagne not liking Joe Budden. And damn, see, this is what I wanted the podcast to be, transparent time. Charlemagne not liking Joe Budden is at the lowest of totem poles. Indeed. The lowest of the totem poles. He alters nothing for me. He changes nothing in my world. Where I'm going, there's the hedge fund niggas that don't like me. There's the board members that don't like me. There's the racist people at the companies that don't like me. It's the racism in advertising that don't like me. It's real fights with people that do not like me that I have to exhaust energy on mm -hmm. to eat mm -hmm. and to feed people and to get my... Charlemagne is not that. That's why I get confused when, like, whatever he said, when he said something, oh, I know what's going on behind the scenes and... Nigga, we are of no relation to each other Let outside you know, of. Oh, please, you cracking your neck? I want to hear. It. Let's do it. You know that, right? You are saying there are bigger nemesis that I need to encounter to get where I'm trying to go, right? And I got to talk to him. Uh, indeed, I got to deal with him. And that's my I got to communicate wait, wait, wait. with him. Let me go. Rub elbow. Go to, to dinner to with him. Yeah, you got to talk to him. Right? Them, right? Cool. Granted. That's a hat. You have to do that with regards to him. One, he don't know that the shit he's doing is not going to have long term effects on your success. Huh. You know that. But wait, how you don't know that? Because if he because he's trying to. What do you mean? He don't know that. I said, how don't he know that? You, you say he, don't he know might that. be short sighted. I don't know the guy. That, what I'm saying is when he's taking. Shut up, man. <laughs> when he no, I'm saying they've nah. only tried to kill me for 20 years. -ish. All right. So again, <laughs> all right. So watch this. If a nigga's trying to kill you and they got you in the garage and they set the garage on fire and they lock all the doors, they don't know you got the fucking crowbar in your pocket to get out the door. So because you tried to kill me and you were unsuccessful at doing so, I'm not talking to you because your intent was otherwise. It's the intent. If I'm intending to end you or to harm you, nigga, I'm not chopping it up with you when I see you in the street. You definitely not sitting at my fucking dining room table. Especially if I don't need you. Especially like, if I don't need you. Like you just said, the you have to deal you with need. these execs the and shit that don't like you. The advertising you need. This right. nigga right here, you don't need. So I'm not fucking pollying with you. Fuck out of here, nigga. You lucky I don't know how to crack my neck. <laughs> Hold up. Let me know. <laughs> let me, I'm not talking let me, to you. Don't, let, I won't even say hi. 
For us niggas, I love, you, but I'm not I stopped that. speaking to Let me know when it's my goal. double digit years. I'm not talking to you, and I know Let you're me. purposely trying to bring me and Let my me. family harm. You got kids, dog. Let me know when it's my goal. It's your goal. Well, first of all, he can't harm me. That's not the point. So when you say well, I he got think kids, he might think if, he if I thought it might be the point, and that's what it should say. Look, that's not the point. But let me go. Right here is when you strap me, or not you, but is when I'm strapped against who I am as a person. And that seems to be happening to me a lot lately. And what I mean is this. I support everything he's doing. So? It's not him. It's not personalized. Stop. Who I am in my soul and spirit supports all of the black people out there that are actively striving and have a plan and a goal and they get somewhere, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. All that good stuff, mm-hmm. right? It still doesn't put them at your dining room table. I could wish you success from way the fuck over here. That don't mean you at my dining room table. That don't mean I even have to engage in a conversation with you because I want you to be successful and I want you to win. That was two totally different arguments. I'm not talking to you. I'm not shaking your hand. I'm not hugging you. I'm not doing none of that shit. But over there, I want you to win. I know, but rest in peace, Stack Bundles. This is how he was murdered. And this is a problem for a lot of black people. We just, that's who we are as a people. We're welcoming. We're helpful. We're forgiving. We're Mm -hmm. compassionate. We're Uh all of those things. So if you got a fucking thriving media company Mm -hmm. and i have a thriving media company like the same shit i was saying about marlon rory like there's too many solutions here for there to be problems like what what would the problem be like the two companies could not even like each other and work together i'm not disagreeing with that yeah but but when you say when you say your company Exactly. We have nothing to work about. You can't bankrupt my company. And but that they don't but wait, wait, but and the that, fact that they're And what trying. y'all saying is off is off for me on a tangent. That that you can't bankrupt my company leads me full circle back to my Kwame Brown Charlemagne point, which is if Kwame Brown is from Monk's Corner, South Carolina, and made it to something that five percent of people achieve and you acknowledge that, then what the fuck is the difference? From Joe Button from Washington Projects. Washington Projects, whose family is from Sumter, South Carolina, becoming a multimillionaire before your very eyes. Alone. What's the difference? It's no different. You can't shame either. You're right. So careful about what you shame when you sit up here on these fucking... You know what I mean? That's it. Yeah. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. I'm saying now you know... Where angle he's taking? No, now I'm not buying him uh, 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 any any chicken from Kentucky Fried anymore. I mean, uh, from Kennedy Fried Chicken. Okay. Charlemagne don't know me. <laughs> There's a long list of people out there that speak about me that they don't really know me. But I took offense to that. Why? Because they're trying to get niggas paid. So he's talk about eighty five million dollars being generational wealth. For where some of us come from, no, one million dollars yeah. is generational wealth for where some of us come from. A half a ticket, one five, two five. I'm saying numbers today that I've never imagined myself saying. I'm saying I'm saying numbers today that I've never learned math on. Let me not get loud. People think I'm erratic when I'm loud, and I'm not erratic, right? So I went and tore his ass up some nice Thanos style. Pow, pow. Get off me, little nigga. Because I don't play with you niggas. <laughs> Man, please don't say pow, pow. Pow, pow. Just a little pow, pow. But the pow, pow, I didn't articulate it right. But everything Kwame Brown is saying was my point. Hey, if we in the black media space, then let's handle it like black media. But some of you are puppets. Some of you are controlled. And some of you are executing interests outside of your own. So why would you attempt to devalue me 100% black owned, black everything plus parks? (laughs) When I'm trying to change the lives of so many people. Let me get it off of me. I pow powed him really quickly. And in that pow pow, I said, don't make me go find. I'll go find her. I'll go find, like, if we playing dirty, tell me, because I know how to play dirty. 
And magically, it all stopped. (laughs) Wouldn't you fucking have it? Magically, it all stopped. And nobody was talking about Thanos anymore. Until recently. Your co-hosts look like they fucking get up and had a hissy fit. Look like you did some bullshit to them. And now Thanos, everybody's talking yet again. And I listened to something that this nigga said while he was talking about me, of course. And he kept talking like, and he did this last time. He's like, oh, we'll, t- that's, we'll see. We'll let the action speak louder than words. We'll, we'll see who the prophet is. We'll see who the last one standing is. And I'm listening to this bullshit. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck is this nigga talking about? We're, not, we're unrelated. Every time it come up, I keep saying it's unrelated. You don't know what. It's the same thing he said at the end of his apology. You don't know what someone else's troubles are, demons are, successes are. You don't know how they rate things. You don't know how they judge things. All of that stuff is true. And here we are. Kwame Brown says the same thing. He brings up that same point in contention. And what do you know magically? Shit stops again. (laughs) Now do you... Shit fucking stops again. I don't have no proof of nothing. Right, because I was going to say... I'm just watching how things play. I get it. Ice. They added a game. Now they think I don't know whoever they might be. I'm not accusing anyone of anything. I'm saying I be having the blinders on so much that I'm just focused on me and my people and getting everybody to where they need to go. But the second I try to look to the side and pick up the phone or make a call or get some information, they right back at it again with these nasty behind the scenes media games. Shorty say what she say now. Somebody hiring a team looking for somebody else to say something. Blah, 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 blah. Is there another girl is, who was uncomfortable? Nigga. Enough of the behind the scenes mess. This is just a culmination of behind the scenes mess from people. Cause I was gonna so say- when you talk about lawyers and cease and desist and things of that nature, fam, is we playing the game or is we not playing the game? My mutual respect for Charlemagne always came because you didn't appear to be so sensitive. You appeared to take the job, the gig is the gig, and what comes with it comes with it. If that means you get attacked outside the radio station, if that means okay. niggas say your name, hey, I got punched in the face, hey, whatever comes with the gig comes with the gig. You lose a bag, you get a bag, what comes with it comes with it. Until it starts getting, until it starts getting. That's where I was giving it, yeah, yeah. I'm off on a tangent. I didn't want to go off on a tangent. But I have a problem with people now nowadays. And boy, is this happening a lot. We hanging on to every social injustice. We hanging on to mental health. It's a lot of people hanging on to shit that I'm just watching your day-to-day actions to see if you live that shit or you just talking it. You talking faith or you live by faith. If you a mental health guy, you didn't know that fucking bombarding this man's whole family on the radio would be a mental health thing. Tell me you didn't. And if you sent a cease and a desist, that means that your initial reaction is from business and lawyer shit. It's not from soul and merit and gut. And that's where you lose me at. And that's why I'm not on the Internet. I'm a mental health guy. It's still mental health month. We got a couple days left. If you're big on mental health, then be big on it at all times. Don't just look to kick niggas when they down or when you got a one up or when your platform is. I'm no longer just talking to Charlemagne. I'm talking about in a a hole. Mm. I just see a lot of it. This is not the first time I've talked about this here. I talked about it with Lakeith Stanfield. Mm -hmm. I've been on this. Mm. I trust patterns. (laughs) Mm. I talked about it with me. You just got to be careful, man. You got to be careful. Where's my phone at, actually? Because now, hey, while I'm on this topic, while I'm on this topic, while I'm on this topic, let me not leave this topic. I'm here to pod the debt. Here's my point. Here's a Joe Budden. This is logic. Okay. I'm going to read it word for word. <clears throat> Here's a Joe Budden song. I'm going to read it word for word no, like he read no, mine. No, 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 <clears throat> here we go. You ready? Pump. 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 It's the chorus. Pump. Pump. <laughs> pump. Pump. Yeah, logic. Pump. You sound like Siri. Pump. Pump. Yeah, pump. Logic. pump. It up. <laughs> pump. 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 Look at pump. His face. Pump. 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 Get to the verse, pump. dog. Pump. 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 Nah, nigga. Get to pump. the verse. It Come up. on, nigga. I was talking that shit. Come on. Pump. 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 Oh, you still pump. reading. This is See? exact. This is not pump fun. it up. <laughs> we gonna do it like, uh, uh, uh. 
Let me get my glasses for this. Where are my glasses? Thank I need you. to make sure I'm doing it to justice and I'm reading it correctly. It's very important. Ha 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 ha. Look. Ha 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 ha. <clears throat> pump it up if you came to get crumped. Oh, uh, no, no. Oh, you with know the word dime. better than me. With a dang. Oh, with a dang. Oh, excuse me. Sorry. With a <laughs> dang. Okay, here we go. Let's Come on. Give, he deserved. That was logic. What was the point of that? Like, what was that for? Understand. To say your. Of course you don't understand. Your club, Let me help you. Your club record was bad lyrics. What was he saying? Let me help Ish. Logic is Mr. Mental Health. Logic, I may have said some bad things about in the past. Okay. Logic said Joe Budden forced him into retirement by saying really mean things. Logic later said. I was suicidal because of and my said. mental health has, has was in bad shape because of the things that Joe Budden said. Logic, you're not hearing me yet, put out a single with the suicide prevention number as the phone number. As the song title. The, as, the, yeah, the that's what I mean. I'm sorry. The as the yes. song title. Yes. I remember that. Do you see where I'm going with people that say they're one thing, but their actions say something else. Now let's insert Thanos back into this. Is Logic ever going to say anything to hurt Joe Budden's feelings? Let me help everybody. Some of y'all in here that know me, Ish knows me. Is Logic going to say anything to hurt Joe Budden's feelings? No. Is Charlamagne going to say anything to hurt Joe Budden's feelings? No. Is, uh, what's the girl called? Is she going to say something that to hurt Joe? It don't matter. Is she going to say something to hurt Joe Budden's feelings? <laughs> no. There's a list of people else. Is Say something to Joe Budden. I want to get the list out of the way because that's the thing that I need people to know. Like, I got blinders on and I'm focused on what I'm focused on. I don't give a fuck about nothing that you niggas say, but walk it like you talk it. Yeah, I don't, yeah. Walk it like you talk it. Any mistake I made, I just made it organically. I didn't know. It wasn't another agenda. I wasn't trying to hurt somebody, I wasn't malicious. I wasn't robbing and stealing. I'm talking about an adult life. I'm talking about an adult life. It's only been an attempt to help people. Will I make a mistake along the way? You fucking right. I'm human and I embrace my imperfections. But the second I say something about logic back and you know who's going to feel bad? Me. Know why? Because I'm a fucking mental health guy. <laughs> no, I don't like that. Now. <clears throat> 